Hi, Steve with Chuffix.com. I just wanted to give a little tip on painting. Anytime we go to paint, first thing I like to do is I like to get all the divots hammered in, and I like to use a pole sander. You could use a block or whatever, and uh, just kind of just kind of rough the wall up a little bit. It takes a lot of the trash off the the old paint and kind of evens everything out. I'll show you right here. I'm going to turn the camera around. So this is an example of where there was a nail. So what you do is you want to hammer that in. Anything like this, you can just top that. Top those little th things like that, but where you have the old mollies and stuff, you want to take the tops of those off and hammer them in. And then you just simply want to take a pole sander or any type of sander and just, and just rub, rub this all down. And what it does, if you look close, it just kind of knocks the knocks the finish off the paint. So when you go to paint, the paint the paint adheres better to the old paint, and it evens everything out. Now what we're doing is just putting on the first coat, and every place you see mud like this, I'll show you on the next scene. Every place you see mud, when you look at the paint a different direction, it's called flashing and you'll be able to see that mud through the paint. Anytime you put mud on the wall, you need to put at least two coats of paint on. Just wanted to show a quick little video on when I paint, your, your best, best opportunity is to put the paint on the dry part of the wall and then work back into the wall that already has paint on it and then that that way as you're moving along the wall you come back and it evens out what you what you're putting on the wall and it won't leave black marks so when you come back into this wall here your paint's starting to dry up a little bit, so you have it heavy here, and then by the time you get back over here, you have less paint on your roller. And that's how I like to do it. And this is what I was talking about flashing, how it looks real dull. And once it dries and you put another coat over it, you won't see that. But that's where there was drywall mud. Well, that's just a little painting tip I wanted to throw out there. Um, have any questions, feel free to ask, comment. You guys hit the little button down there and subscribe. Appreciate all the views. Appreciate all the hits. Uh, keep looking for more videos in the future. Thanks.